The illustrations in a book are a lot more than just pretty pictures. They allow the story to be enhanced. Illustrations are capable of transforming a simple story into an exciting and fascinating one. The Coretta Scott King Award for Illustrations is awarded to outstanding African American illustrators of books for children and young adults that demonstrate an appreciation of African American culture and universal human values. The Coretta Scott King Award was established in 1969. It first started out as an award only given to authors, but then branched out to illustrations too in 1974, when the first illustrator received the award. This award pays tribute to the life and work of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and honors his wife, Mrs. Coretta Scott King, for her courage and determination to continue the work for peace and world brotherhood. One of the criteria points that stand out among the community is that the artwork must be original. In Daddy's Arms, I Am Tall, illustrated by Javaka Steptoe, shows a collection of poems inspired by African American fathers. Steptoe's original work is brought out by his uniqueness of style, by containing many found objects in his collages, such as scraps from tin ceiling, floorboards, and real fish dipped in paint, and more. The Coretta Scott King Award is also awarded to an author that portrays accuracy with the African American experience. Uptown, written and illustrated by Brian Collier, is seen through the eyes of a young boy living in Harlem, New York. The illustrations take the reader through things to do and see in Harlem, such as a game of basketball on summer's afternoon, to a personal trip to the barber shop where old timers reflect on old times. The illustrations themselves evoke every aspect of Harlem with the many attractions found there. It hits the criteria because it is from a young boy's perspective that accurately highlights the community and the culture that came from Harlem during one's childhood. Trombone Shorty, also illustrated by Brian Collier, is a lively picture book autobiography about how Troy Andrews followed his dream of becoming a musician, despite the odds, until he reached international stardom. This hits the criteria of portraying accuracy within the African American experience because it shows his hometown in collages to correctly create the community that Troy Andrews grew up in. He also grew up in a town where music was important and a big part of the community. In the illustrations, music is found decorated on every page. Trombone Shorty is a celebration of the rich cultural history of New Orleans and the power of music. The Coretta Scott King Award is also awarded to books that provide inspirational and educational contributions expressed to the illustrations. The book Let It Shine, written and illustrated by Ashley Bryan, does just that. He incorporates songs made by African-American slaves, which contradicts a common view of history involving slaves. He creates upbeat, lively illustrations to show that the slaves are free in their mind and through music, even though they were imprisoned physically. The illustrations are meant to highlight that and show their strength as people. It acknowledges the fight people had to pursue to not be looked at as slaves, but as individuals and the appreciation for that. This book celebrates their history, not looking at the bad times, but the peace of mind they had to maintain. This educates and inspires the world with a new way to look at the past and value the struggle of African American ancestors. The illustrations include bright, vibrant colors to represent their mind, and how they, even though they had no power, their imagination could never be taken away. Illustrations are commonly colorful to stand out, but a book without color has a chance to win the award as well. After talking about how much color is added to represent the mood and history of the book, books can create the same effect without color. Representing history, the earlier books of the award used shading to express their culture instead of color. The shading can give the same impact of giving more insight into the story and the meaning. All of the books that have been mentioned so far are known to have a lot of color and texture in the illustrations. Cornrows, illustrated by Carol Bayard, however, had no color at all. The art is in black and white, created by pencil. This book meets the awards criteria for showing the African American experience through illustrations. During Grandma's story, the cornrows and people's hair are shown in almost every image. Throughout her story, the individuals have a change in the way they dress, but the corners in their hair stay. 
cornrows are a traditional part of the African American culture, which is still in their culture today. The Coretta Scott King Award encourages the artistic expression of the African American experience through the graphic arts. The illustrations are meant to inspire and educate readers into understanding the experiences and culture of one's history.